Hello everyone and welcome to Salesforce in under five. This video is a continuation of the Platform Developer 1 exam preparation and today we will be touching on describing how the Salesforce platform features map to the MVC pattern. So MVC is a design pattern that divides application development into three parts, the model, the view, and the controller. So it's traditionally used for graphical user interfaces or GUIs and it's very popular for web development. The main feature is that it implements by responsibility. So each part, the model, view, and controller having its own job. So here's a diagram of what MVC looks like. On the bottom left, we have the database or the model. Above that, we have a display, a way to display the information. This is the view. And then on the bottom right, we have the controller, a way to retrieve the information. So M, the model, describes the data and data model that the application uses. The view describes the way information is displayed to the user, such as the layout or interface. And the controller describes the way the model is changed or the way data is passed. So at the center of everything, we have the model or the data model and it's definitely the central part of the application. It's responsible for handling and storing the data of the application. In Salesforce, these are your standard and custom objects and represents your data model. So on the standard side, this would be your accounts, contacts, leads, opportunities, and notes. And on the custom side, it's really any custom object that you've defined in your org. So the view, is the output or representation of the information in a particular format. So in Salesforce, this is your page layout, your Visual Force page, lightning components, dashboards, and reports. So it's the visual representation of your application data. The controller accepts input and interacts with model by updating, deleting, creating, or performing additional logic. So it's the transport system between uh, the model and the view. In Salesforce, this is the application logic, and we use Apex to provide controller logic to the view. All objects by default um, come with their own standard controllers, and controllers can also be created as custom controllers. So MVC architecture has a few benefits. Um, one is that it decouples development so as I mentioned before, we have this separation of responsibilities between the model, the view, and the controller. And this eventually makes code easier to maintain and update. Another benefit is that multiple, multiple developers can work on the same application at once without overlapping since we have this separation. So let's go through some practice examples. I'll state a use case and see if you can identify whether it belongs to the model, the view, or the controller. A custom object that captures project information. This would be the model. A lightning component that displays recently closed opportunities. If you answer view, you're correct. So that's all I have on MVC. Um, it's not a big part of the exam, but it's important to know the difference between the three. Most of the exam questions around MVC will be similar to this, where they'll give you a use case and you'll have to identify if it's part of the model, the view, or the controller. Thanks for watching.